Hey, I'm Justin Beitzel, and I'm a junior here at Vernon Hills High School. And we just want to tell you a little bit about our project, um, our marketing project that we did partnered with Tom and Eddie's. Um, so basically what we did, we created a burger, um, and we sold it at Tom and Eddie's. Our entire class came up with different ideas, different burger designs and ingredients. And um, our group, we came up with the Cha Cha Burger. Um, and so out of all the burgers in our class, the Cha Cha Burger won. It was the most popular, got the most votes. Um, so the Cha Cha Burger ended up being the one that our class went with. Hey, I'm Zach Yurtovsky, and I'm a junior. Um, so we had a variety of ingredients for our burger. We had a beef patty, uh, grilled onions, smoked gouda cheese, bacon, uh, gourmet bun, and we also had many different ingredients that made our burger really good. Hi, my name is Constantine, and I'm a senior in high school, and my biggest role was thinking of the ingredients for the Cha Cha Burger. And since I like the spiciness of the red onions and the rich flavor of the gouda cheese, I thought it was a really good ingredient for a burger. We collaborated with our group partners to think of more ingredients so we can make our burger more diverse and have a better taste. Hi, I'm Dylan Fluntworth. I'm a junior at Vernon Hills High School. And while creating the burger, we wanted our essential ingredients and a rich flavor that no other burger could bring to the table. So we went, went more with a chipotle design and we added rich flavors with dill pickles, and spicy sauces. I think I think it all started with us dividing up our what we were going to do. So like I and Zach, we kind of took the whole like part of um, designing the theme for the burger and the whole Southwest Cha Cha um, dance type of um, theme for it. So yeah. So once we found out that that was going to be our theme, we wanted to figure out what kind of ingredients would match that theme. So that's when we started thinking about that. Yeah, also like competition in our class was like extreme. So we wanted to take the burger to the next level so that we would stand out as a group because we had really tough competitors in our group. I think we all kind of worked together with the same main goal. We just divided up who was going to do which part of the project so that we could get it done in time. Um, if we were all working on the same thing, all designing the ingredients, all designing the theme, then it would take a lot longer. So it just we partnered up and took different sides of the challenge so that we could get to our goal. And with leadership, we kind of took the leadership in our classroom because not only did we work together, but our whole class collaborated on the project. So kind of us four were like the main contributors to the project, but everyone pitched in and it turned out really, really good. Uh, I think it was great. It was like, it was just something we've never done before, like especially me. And it was like really exciting with meeting with uh, the people of Tom and Eddie's and them being at the tasting, it just felt really nice to actually have like a real experience. Like we learned about it in class, but it was just nice to actually like re like feel what it really felt like. Yeah, like what Zach said, we learn about marketing in class, but when you apply a real life situation to it, it helps us learn a lot more. Because then we know what it's like to establish a partnership with a business and then promote it like that. So we learned a lot more than we could have learned in our marketing class because we could like adapt more to the real world business. So. Um, it was just like on opening night when we were like, we, we were doing the real deal. It was kind of a great atmosphere, like taking the techniques we learned in the class and applying it to connecting with customers. Like these people we didn't know, they were strangers to us. And it was kind of great, like, like applying, like telling them what we were about and how like successful we were. Kind of, kind of like what Zach said, it was, you can, it was a lot more intense just being in the real world, but like, you can, you can do class projects and you can do whatever you want in class, but it, you never really get that experience until you get outside of your classroom and go into the community. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian Fabian. I'm a sophomore here at Vernon Hills High School, and today we would like to talk to you about the Barnyard Burger. I'm Michael Hong, a sophomore, and the ingredients on our burger were pretzel bun, haystack onions, bacon, chipotle mayo, lettuce, beef, and avocado. Hi, my name is Connor Bensley, and uh, I took part in advertising the Barnyard Burger, and we mainly use Twitter and Facebook to advertise our hashtags, hashtag pig out and hashtag eat like a pig. Hi, I'm Roman Magazoo, I'm a freshman, and this, this burger fits our target market because it has a variety of flavors, and kids our age will enjoy it. I am Daniel Gaev. I'm a junior here at Vern Hills, and we thought the Barnyard Burger would work best on the Tom and Eddie's Burger Challenge because it's a, an original variety of flavors, and it kind of gives the eater kind of a little bit of something in their burger. 
And uh, it represents kind of the, diver the diversity of Vernon Hills High School and uh, just kind of America in general. So we thought it really had a nice representation on our school as well. Our last objective in the Tom and Eddie's Burger Challenge was to pick a charity for all of our proceeds to go to. We decided to pick the Make-A-Wish Foundation to give back to our community by helping sick children and giving them strength and hope in their lives. Um, I thought we divided up very well. I think um, certain people had certain roles. Like I know, I think Danny worked on our uh, social media. I think Michael and I worked on our uh, ingredients. We saw like not people taking charge and like having control over other people, but just everyone put their ideas in so we could all come up with a good idea together and all work together. I think everyone was responsible for completing their parts. So if they had to work out of class, they would do that too. Uh, I feel like with the Barnyard Burger and working on the, the whole project was kind of like, it was very like do it yourself and it was very like we could do whatever we wanted. And so that kind of gave us like a greater sense of like responsibility because we had to like volunteer to do sort of extra work. Oh, it was kind of a cool experience because it's like not something that you get to do every day, like work with this big company that uh, that really like they didn't have to do it. Like they they offered to help us help Vernon Hills like do this really cool project, and like they even they're giving the proceeds to the charity. So yeah, it's a really cool thing for Tom and Eddie's to do, and it was uh, nice working with them because uh, like you also you don't get to do this every day because you don't get to make burgers and sell them and like it's just a cool experience to have for like later in life too well we did have to sell the burger so like if we just we made like a twitter account we made a facebook account um i think we had an instagram account too so it's like we had to sell the burger to our classmates and even to like the area of burn hills in general so uh, uh that's kind of like we also had to make the presentation in order to sell it to our classmates and our teacher to pick our burger in order to put them into the the challenge in general. So uh, yeah, just kind of like selling the burger and advertising was really the main point of the campaign. Uh, going with what Danny said, uh, it, the Barnyard Burger Project kind of made me realize that marketing is a lot of communication, whether it was like through social media or just like talking to a friend and say like, uh, hey, you should come get our burger. It was a lot of communication. One, pick, pick out! out.